Hey guys, today's project would be making a miniature guinea pig. This is my first time to make an animal and I also watched other tutorials. However, I find them difficult for beginners so I tried to make my version as easy as possible. I hope it is not too complicated for you. Don't forget to check the materials in the description box below. In this project, I am going to use a scrap clay to form the guinea pig. You can also use white clay to do this. Cut a small amount of clay and roll this into a ball. Using your thumb and index finger, slightly pinch one part of the clay and start rolling this part until it becomes elongated and looks like a pear. Next, take any flat tool and press the narrow part back. Um, we don't want a guinea pig with a long neck. Then use your fingers to round the head part. Then I also use the metal neck of my ball tool to create a dent on the clay. This will indicate the head. Pinch the front of the head to make the shape of the nose. Then, I added the ball sockets by using a small dotting tool. I added the ears by rolling two small balls and flattening them. Then, I positioned the ears not too close from each other. I then added liquid clay to make it sturdy. For the legs, I rolled four tiny sausages and then I slightly flattened it and sliced the middle to create a pole. I then position it outside the body so it will be more noticeable once the fur is glued. Don't forget to add liquid clay and then just set them aside. For the eyes, I simply used a black polymer clay and rolled it into tiny bowl. Now you can bake the guinea pig and the eyes completely and let them cool. After baking, I painted the guinea pig white, but you don't need to do this step if you are already using a white polymer clay. For the fur, I used this wool that I bought maybe 3 years ago just because it was almost given away and I know I will use it someday and that day is today. Next, I'm going to cut about a centimeter long of the wool. And then I added glue starting at the bottom part of the guinea pig. I am not going to add the fur at once but rather layer by layer. So do not add fur to the facial area because we will use a different method for this. Next, trim the fur. Use a small scissors if possible and be careful not to cut the legs and the ears. For the face, I trimmed the wool to produce these minute shreds which will be glued later on. Next, add glue on the face but don't add glue on the eyes socket 
and on the ears. We will keep them hairless to make it more visible. Then you can sprinkle the face with the minor shreds or dipping them directly will also work. Again, trim the excess fur and be careful not to cut the ears. Next, I am going to add the colors and I am using Earth Tone Chalk Pastel. I also mix some of the colors to create a different shade. Although coloring the guinea pig is quite easy, I still used a picture from the internet for reference. So you kind of just dab the brush into the fur until the color becomes solid. I also tried using acrylic paint but it didn't came out nice. I think the acrylic paint ruined the wool instead of making the fur look soft. It was kind of hard and looked like um, more plastic. Maybe because my acrylic paint was cheap or maybe it wasn't really meant to be. After painting, I added the eyes. And then painted the inner ears and around the snout area with pink acrylic paint. And lastly, I sprayed the guinea pig with transparent sealer to protect the chalk pastel. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you had fun. Good luck with your new project. Bye bye and see you next time.